everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to ask you low, high or DIY and we're talking about a tassel throw pillow. I thought it'd be fun to start a new series on the channel here and talk about just certain home decor objects. We might even venture into other sorts of DIYs and talk about whether the object is worth buying at a lower cost or buying at a higher price or completely DIYing. I just thought that would be a fun thing to talk about because as much as I love DIYing, and of course I'm all about that, sometimes it's just way more expensive or way more work than it should be and maybe it is better to buy the object. I don't know. So if you like this idea for this series, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you want to continue to see more of these types of videos and then I'll make this a series and try this with other objects. One of my favorite things in the home decor world right now are tassels and fringes, anything with lots of texture like that. I've always loved texture. I've always loved boho styled elements. So today I wanna to tackle the tassel pillow. So let's talk about buying a lower priced tassel pillow. So this one here is from H&M Home. It was $14.99 Canadian and it was just the cover. So I had to put my own insert in. I bought the insert from Ikea. It's my favorite insert. It's the $6 Canadian down insert from Ikea. So altogether, this pillowcase cost me right around $21 Canadian. So what I liked about this one was that the fabric is really rustic. It's a really textured canvas. It's the color that I wanted for my decor this year, which is just like a natural color, sort of an off-white. The tassels are fantastic. They're very full, but there's only one on each corner. So I do like this look. It also has a really nice zippered back to it. So it's pretty good quality for the price, I thought. Uh, I will leave a link to this one in the description box below. The only thing that I do not like about this pillow cover is I feel that it's a little bit too big for a 20 inch insert, which is the insert that Ikea has. When I DIY pillow covers, I like to make them slightly smaller than my insert. So I like to cut my fabric out at 20 inches, use half inch seam allowances. So my actual pillowcase comes out at 19 inches um, in width. And this one I find has a little bit of extra fabric that I don't like how it sits. Other than that, I think this is a great deal at $14.99 Canadian. So the next pillow cover I want to talk about is this one, this tasseled pillow cover. So this was really what started my whole addiction this spring to tasseled pillow covers. How many times can I say tasseled pillow covers in this video? I don't know, maybe count them. <laughs> this one is from Anthropology. I really love Anthropology. Um, it again has that boho vibe. Most of the things I've purchased from Anthropology have been very good quality, whether they're decor items or clothes. However, you probably know Anthropology is very pricey and I rarely buy anything if it's not in that sales closet in the back of the store. Um, it's just, it's, it's quite pricey and it's hard to afford. So this pillow is a newer pillow in one of, one of their new lines. So this one was quite pricey at $89 Canadian. It is cheaper in US. Um, however, the fabric is gorgeous. It's a really, really thick chenille fabric. Uh, the sewing is very good on this. It has um, an invisible zipper here. It also um, has a really, really soft and squishy insert. It's not down, it's uh, just acrylic, but it's huge. It's 22 inches and it's really soft. And look at the tassels on this. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 tassels on each side of the pillow. And they're sewn in very well. They're very fat. And I like the idea of putting the contrasting string around the tassel to give them a little bit of interest. So they did have this pillow in a few different colors and shapes. I just liked, again, that natural cream color. So this one, I did splurge on and I did go ahead and buy this one just because I thought it was really good quality and I just was thinking about making 24 tassels and how long it would take plus the fabric. Um, so it's a splurge, but I do like this one as well. And finally, let's talk about the DIY tassel pillow. So here is the DIY tassel pillow I made and I love this guy. And this was really fun to make, tassels, I was making tassels uh, the other weekend and um, they're just enjoyable. You could make them while you're just watching Netflix and relaxing. And what I did here was I just made my really easy pillow cover. So um, basically I just cut out two squares of fabric. I found this fabric at fabric.com 
and I really love the uh, color and the style of this. It's that natural cream color, but then I added, I liked the aqua window pane plaid that this one has. I cut out two 20 inch pieces. I put them right sides together. I sewed them all the way around, leaving a hole at one edge with a half inch seam allowance on my sewing machine. Then I kept that pillowcase inside out. I made my tassels, so basically what I did for the tassels was, was I cut out a piece of an old cardboard box uh, that was 10 inches wide. I wrapped some leftover yarn that I had around that piece of 10 inch cardboard about 50 times. I pulled that loop of yarn right off of the cardboard and then I took another piece of yarn, tied it around the center of that loop, tied it in a square knot nice and tight, and then I folded that loop in half took another piece of yarn and tied that about an inch from the top of my tassel really tightly around using a square knot again and then I took some scissors then I cut all of the loops in half so that we had that tassel shape finally I just trimmed my tassel to make sure the bottom was nice and even then I took a darning needle or a yarn needle and then I put those two top pieces of yarn through the needle and then I put the tassel and the needle inside my pillowcase, pulled it up with the needle into a corner, and then I knotted it really securely onto the inside of the pillowcase. So I decided to put four tassels on either corner of this pillow. I was considering doing the anthropology style and doing tassels all the way along the sides, uh, but for just for time's sake, I thought the four would look nice on this particular pillow, plus the fabric has a pattern too, so there was quite a bit going on already. And then after the tassels were secure, I flipped the pillow right side out and I put another $6 IKEA insert into the pillow and then I just hand stitched the opening shut. So this is kind of my cheater's really easy method of making pillowcases. There's no zipper or there's no buttons or anything. Uh, if you do want to add a zipper to your pillowcase and piping or just make it a little bit easier to switch out, I will leave a link to my more detailed pillow case tutorial in the description box below. But for this one, I wanted to make it quick and easy. So altogether, this pillow cover only took me maybe about half an hour to make. It was a very quick DIY. The tassels were enjoyable. If you want to wash something like this where you, you know, you've already like stitched it shut like this, you'll have to wash it all in one piece. Um, probably just the hand wash function on your uh, washer, but I mean same with these pillows They're probably just hand wash only as well And this fabric was really inexpensive from fabric.com and the yarn I already had on hand So altogether this was only around $20 for all of the material for this pillow and it only took me half an hour So I think this DIY was worth it. I think out of all these pillows in my opinion, out of the low cost option pillow, the high cost option pillow, and the DIY, I think the DIY for this is the way to go. Number one, because making pillows is a really easy sewing project. If you're a beginner seamstress, you can do this yourself, or you could even hand stitch a pillow. I also have a, a way to make a pillow with hem tape. I'm gonna leave that in the description box below. That's totally an option if you don't even wanna touch a sewing machine. And the tassels are just a fun DIY. They're a fun project. They would be fun to do with kids. So in my opinion, DIY is the way to go on this because it is less expensive than both of these options and it's a lot of fun plus it doesn't take that much time. Now I want to hear from you guys. Would you get the low cost version of this tassel pillowcase, the high cost version of this pillowcase, or would you DIY it? I want to know. I'm going to try to leave a poll somewhere up here and you let me know which you prefer at, or let me know in the comments below what you think of this DIY pillowcase and the other ones and what you would do if you wanted a tassel pillowcase in your own home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY, home decor, and lifestyle videos. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.